Putting a corporate logo on a sports arena is known as naming rights. Didn't like it. Okay. Didn't like my name. Lois Zezza grew up boring. the self-described victim of a naming wrong. It was just short and choppy. It didn't have any flair, I thought. <laughs> Clear back to elementary school, Lois didn't feel like a Lois at all. I thought Virginia or Elizabeth or something sounded a little more dramatic. No telling where Lois might be if her parents had concurred. Good morning, Lois. But rest assured, I'm Lois. it wouldn't be here. <laughs> and you are? Lois. I am Lois. I'm Lois, of course. <laughs> Lois, Lois, Lois. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Lois Zezza, who so hated her name, First is now a member of a club that can't get enough of it. And so you're a Lois, too? Yes. Oh, yes. good. Okay. No officers, no dues, no rules, but one. If it isn't L-O-I-S, you shouldn't be in the club. 56 Loises showed up for the club's most recent Lois lunch. Here we go, Lois. 25 years after the first two Loises linked. Hi, Lois. Lois, Lois uh, Milner bought insurance from Lois Weston, and they went to lunch together and said, isn't this neat? I would like all of the new Loises to come up front. A quarter Sorry. century after that first meeting in St. Paul, Loises still have a lot to talk about. My name is Lois. Like a certain nickname seemingly endured by every Lois. I can't say it in public. <laughs> with an older brother. Maybe you can spell it. L-O-A-S-S. -S. As in droopy buttocks? You got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> no wonder Loises have such good senses of humor. <laughs> this one gets them every time. Excuse me, excuse me, we have a phone call for Lois. <laughs> They never get tired of it. <laughs> kind of like you have an uh, automatic bond. <laughs> and I want you to hug as many people as you feel like hugging. Did we always hug? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, I love my name now. When you can stand in a room of 50 plus women and they're all smiling and so happy to be here. Why wouldn't you like your name anymore? Since starting in St. Paul, Lois Clubs have been launched in a number of Minnesota cities, at least half the states, and several foreign countries. We gave birth. We're mothers. <laughs> All converging in February at the National Lois Convention. How many are planning on going to Tampa? Still unknown? Which husband will don the tights and cape next year? <laughs> Lois's love. Superman. There's no problem talking with people from all over the country. They're all Lois's. Which brings us to the one buzz kill at any Lois party. Happy birthday, dear Lois. If you haven't Happy noticed, they're not minting Lois's anymore. You pick up the old bit and you look down, you see Lois, Lois, Lois. Lois was the 21st most popular girl's name in the country in the 1920s. By the 70s, it had slipped to 600 in first. It hasn't made it into the top 1,000 since. It says expecting a baby, Lois is a nice thing. We're trying to bring back a dying breed. Life, after all, holds no guarantees for Ashley's and Jessica's. My name is Lois, your name is Lois. But for 25 years, there's been love, laughter, and lunch in the land of 10,000 Loises. <laughs>